What's the Numbers TV? Shout out Paparazzi Pro in the building. What's the Numbers TV? Yo, what's the Numbers TV? What the fuck going on? It's Papa. You in the comments. You said the people. You. You said the people need to You said the people need to know the real story. So, you know what I'm saying? Anything nah, you want to elaborate? I'm just I, like you know, like I'm I'm home. I'm chilling, but. Like I be looking and I be seeing like people be like talking about shit. You feel me? Like, like I I'm I'm really not here like to say too much, but a lot of that shit be like watered down. Like that information, like I seen y'all talking like about the YG Max situation. I right, boom. So I'm born five nine. My mom's is one of the first right, five hold on, nines. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna let you go, but Disco has said that story. I was just repeating what somebody else had yeah. said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Now, Disco, Disco knew me since I was a, a kid. I ain't gonna lie. Right. But for me, so basically, I'm born 5'9", and in the middle of me transitioning from 5'9", to Mac Bola, we was already YG on the street. Like, that was our street crew. You know, like, how Mac Bola's was a street crew before it was a Brim set. You know, YG was my street crew while I was already Brim. And for me, like, you know, back then, it wasn't no double banging. You could be wild cowboys and fucking Latin King. You know, not to say that people was, but I'm just saying, like, for example, you could be like Harlem Hustlers or Brooklyn Rangers and be blood or whatever the fuck you is. But, you know, when YG came into play, I guess the influence was so different. It was like, yo, nah, y'all niggas can't be both. And for the most part, I was the only one who kind of didn't want to be both. Like, I was like, all right, fuck it. Like, I don't want to be both. Like, you know, the rest of them kind of stayed both. You know, that's why that shit is like still going on. But I was like, like the nigga asked me, I ain't gonna lie, a nigga asked me straight to my face. I ain't gonna say his name. Everybody always got their own story, but mm -hmm. nigga said to the nigga said to me politely, like, yo, it's a lot of YG niggas pulling up to the jail. This when I was in green, for me. That fabricated story about me seeing a big homie in court and told a nigga to suck dick, like that's fake. That was a fake story. It, it wasn't it, it it happened that way but it didn't happen for that reason you know they mixed two different stories right. but anyway long story short short story shorter it was like yo that's a lot of yg niggas pulling up to the spot yo yeah i already know yo i'm saying bro like if the yg niggas get into it with the homies like like who side you gonna pick because you know like niggas want to know like niggas getting kind of thick like i'm like what nigga? these my niggas from the town like I'm riding with them. So the nigga like, yo, so what you blood for? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, you know what? You right. That's what happened. It wasn't no, oh, suck my dick, suck my dick, you a dub, or I wasn't double jacking or something. Yo, I'm still trying to claim Matt Bowler. Like, a nigga came to me with a question that made sense to me as a kid. Like, at that point in my life, I was saying to myself, like, if I'm in a spot with a bunch of niggas from West Bubblefuck, and one of my niggas from the town come through here. Who the fuck do I look like riding with a West Bubble fuck nigga against my own niggas for any reason? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what reason. Yeah. You feel me? So, so that's how that went. Like with that shit. Right. Niggas was already YG already. Like niggas was YG already. Like before Mac Bowler even came out. Like. Right. All right, let me ask you a question then, man. Because I heard stories. I heard, I even know some people that was locked up with you back in the day on the island. I heard the stories about you and Green. And I'm not the type just because everybody got something to say about somebody, I'm going to follow suit. I heard every, all the stories I heard about you, honestly, back in the day, you was doing your thing, holding it down. And I know a lot of people call you, say, say a lot of things about you now, nowadays. You know what I'm saying? What well, you got to say about the people that say, like, oh, you, you soft all of a sudden now because you this, this, so you got raw, this, and the third. What you got to say to all the people that just be hating for no reason? Because all the stories, I'm going to keep it real. All the stories I heard back in the day about Poe, I'm going to keep it 100. They told me you was official, holding it down the alley, this, the third. I let people see because certain things happen to people. Maybe you got cut, this, that, and the third. You know what it was? It's, you know, it's, it's, when you, when, this, 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 this stature right here, right? This is the best way I can put it, right? And I believe this in my heart, within myself. When you're a superhero to the streets and you don't meet the expectations. Yeah. That's what happens. Like, not to even bring my pops into it, but that's what happened with him. He was a fucking superhero to the streets. So when that happened, it was like, damn, how could you do that to Rich? 
And then, damn, how you gonna tell? Like, you was like all American, nigga. You was like our fucking hero. Like, that's literally what King Ernest said. Like, I don't like Alpo because I fucking looked up to that nigga and he did that shit. Mm -hmm. You know, so think about it. I'm I'm young po, right? I'm in these streets, I'm in these jails, I'm shaking everything. I was untouchable in prison for five whole years and then got scratched on some sucker shit. Mm -hmm. But to the streets, it ain't sucker shit. It's nigga, you got touched. You wasn't supposed to get touched. You young po, my nigga, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you got robbed. You wasn't supposed to get robbed, nigga. You young po, nigga. You snatch chains. Like, you do the shooting, nigga. Like, how the fuck you gave off? So it's like, it's a bunch of niggas that probably looked up to me or came up behind me some type of way. And they mad at me for what happened to me because they feel like, oh, you wasn't supposed to be laughing. I don't go fuck if they cut you from behind. You were supposed to see that shit coming. Like, I don't go fuck if they had eight guns. You wasn't supposed to let them take your jury. Yeah, the shit happened. You understand what I'm saying? Like. I got a question too though. So what's your situation with Faye back? What's what's all that about? Faye, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. I think it's it's because Faye being mother. Cause I knew Faye being since I was little. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew him since I was little. He wasn't my friend or nothing. We just was rolling in the same clique. There was a crew on his block called OTN, 129th Street and Lennox Avenue. If anybody know about OTN 129. I fucked with 129 and you know, I used to put in work with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? So I was around boy, long story short, when I went to jail, a friend of mine was fucking with his moms and he had pictures of her and shit. And you know, it was a joke, it was funny. Uh, 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 I kind of put it out there one time when he was like throwing shade at me on the internet. I say, oh, niggas is fucking your moms, nigga, stop. Like, stop talking like that. Like, you got, we ain't really like that. You, if you let a nigga from your block fuck your moms, nigga, you <laughs> soft, nigga. A nigga your age, you soft, nigga. You feel me? Because he tried to get involved in a situation with Cardi and BBOD. Y'all remember? Yeah. I was with Cardi, he was with BBOD, and I guess he was trying to portray himself like he was a goon. So when they started beefing, he jumped in the beef on some. Fuck that nigga post shit when me and him was actually cool. So he he tried to he tried to become that role that he was trying to play for those women. And they whatever happened with their career, I don't know. Shout outs to them. You know what I'm saying? They all them nights just like me. But it whatever he had going on with them didn't work out. Like it worked out for me with Cardi. You understand? Yeah. So now he stuck, he stuck, he stuck he holding got on to the situation that like they're having other day. Yeah. Look, this situation been going on since back yeah. then. I ain't never seen Fabian. This been going on since 2016. Or was it smoke or was y'all just playing with him? That's what the he, chat he, No, he he listen. I was going to spank him. He's a punk. I don't gotta shoot you. I don't gotta stab you. I don't gotta jump you. I was with a bunch of kids taking mm -hmm. them niggas to football practice, nigga. I was those you listen to them voices, them niggas is 14, 13 years old, bro. You talking about I was in a car with four niggas. I was in a car with one grown ass man in the front seat with me and kids in the back, bro. You hear them niggas, ha ah, ha, red light, red light. I'm with a bunch of little niggas, bro. I'm about to hop out and beat dog shit out this nigga. Like this is Fabian, bro. This ain't no, it's not no killer. This not no nigga I'ma run up on, he gonna have a gun. He not even gonna have a knife. This is Fabian. His name is Fabian. <laughs> this is Fayback. That's I don't know. I guess it sounds cool to him, but he never had a Fayback, so I don't understand that part. But if you look at me, you see I'm paparazzi, nigga. Like I, I mm -hmm. am who I am. I am who I am. I can't help to be who I became. I chose my path. You on mute, buddy? You on mute? Did he know it was y'all that was following him? Until look, nigga, that nigga don't got no sense. That nigga don't got no sense. Look at the video. He said it have no sense. Did y'all see him before he seen y'all or he seen y'all? Listen, he drove past me. I'm in the projects, right? Where niggas say I can't be. Yo, Poe can't go to the Bronx, right? <laughs> Poe can't go nowhere. Oh, they gonna kill him. He's punk, he's everything, right? But Poe sitting in Patterson projects, one of the realest projects where it all started at. 
on, I'm sitting there, and this this bitch nigga drive past me. I'm double parked by the hydrant in the middle of the projects. He drive past me. I double take, see the nigga. I'm like, oh, that's Fabian. So if I can see you through your tents, you definitely can see me. <laughs> oh, that's Fabian. Jump in the car. Everybody jump in the car. What happened? What happened, big bro? What happened? Watch, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. So everybody like this. Oh shit. I'm chasing this nigga. To, bro, wait till I put out the whole video. You burning red lights video. and all that. Was any in any he cameras was, he, in the light? He was on the wrong side of the street and all yeah, that. I seen, yeah, yeah, I seen him drop down the one way. Was, that nigga was scared to death. That nigga tried to kill his own baby mother. <laughs> What the fuck is you talking about? I think it's talking about me. I, I nigga try to kill his baby mother, not me. I pulled over next to him. I ain't try to hit him. I ain't try to harm nobody else in the car. I pulled up next to him where he could see and hear me and said, nigga, what's up? He says, get out the car. Get out, <laughs> pussy. Get out. What's up? You mad? You was mad tough for five years. I ain't see you, nigga. I finally caught you, you bitch ass nigga. What's up? And I'm gonna beat you up. Same thing I told Ferris when I used to speak to Ferris on three way calls with my pops. Yo, I'm gonna beat the nigga up. Yo, we could set it up to where y'all niggas could pull up the two nine and get it on. Let's do it. We never did it. So I, mm. I, I lucked up one day. And this is how you know this is God. Cause you did ride in me. You saying I'm this, I'm not, I'm not him, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not. Where all that animosity can come from, dog? Why you got so much energy for me? Show me a Fayback interview where he don't throw a shot at me or he don't it, it, say something about me. And then ask yourself that. So would you do a um would you do like the same fight that you had to set up with King Ern? Would you do that with Fayback? He was the first nigga who I was supposed to fight. That's the funniest part. When Little Preem came to me with the idea, like yo. I got this celebrity boxing shit, yo. What you think about fighting Fabian? I said, well, I will knock him out. Fabian didn't want to fight. Then here comes King Erna. Oh, I'll fight him. I'll fight him. And then me and King Erna was really about to do it. That's how that happened. It originally was supposed to be me versus Fabian. That was the fight. That was you versus the nigga from Dawn Diva. Cool. I'm going to beat Dawn. I know this kid. Like, he can't even take a punch. And a lot you of people were looking forward to that fight. A lot of people, tell them the reason why the fight actually got canceled. Because when they see the fight, that they fight, were going, oh, The gonna fight got canceled. Listen, the fight got canceled because once once my pops was involved, he was involved. And they ain't, niggas could say all that tough shit. But once niggas know, like, oh, he might have been courtside for the fight. Or he was going to be involved. King Erna did everything he was supposed to do to breach the contract. He was getting on a joint, going crazy, nuts. You seen them going crazy. Like, he was going crazy. He was nailing the supermarkets with cat food. This nigga was doing all types of crazy shit. Hmm. This nigga was wild. That's not no, no. Nigga, they ain't told him, yo, don't talk about family members, like dead family members and shit like that. This is contracts we signed. Boy, talking about my dead aunt, my dead grandmother. He going, my mother's a whole niggas was, niggas, Slutted my mother out to be blood. And, uh, uh, like, niggas start going crazy now. You talking about mama blood. Like, mama blood is that shit in the streets. Still to this day. Still don't want any trade. Mm. Still to this day. Ain't going to leave because she don't have to. Yes, oh, pause for a second. But speaking of the Bronx, man, I want to say rest in peace to them 19 people that lost their lives in that building, man. On 81st nah, that's Street, a fact. Man. That's a fact, man. Rest in you peace, peace man. Still, You and Tommy still good? Me and Tommy, we brothers, you know, at the end of the day, we brothers, we don't agree on a lot of shit. And, you know, that's where we at with it. Like, I don't agree with his case. You know, I feel like how I felt about Fabian. You could have hopped out and got beat up in front of your baby mother, and you would have still been home to talk about it. You could have fought me again. You could have caught me next time, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it could have, whatever, however you want it to be, whatever you could imagine it to be, you, you took the time to harm a child, I don't agree with that. I don't true. agree with that. I, I I just don't agree with that, you know? And, and, and at that point, you know, like, it's love from a distance. You know, it's not no beef. It's, you know, he went to two times. I let him go over there. 
it's the same thing. It's family, you know. It's still you doing music. At the end of the day, if somebody else got something that I don't got in my company, at their company, and they willing to share that with you, then yo, you got my blessings. And that's what happened with him. I see. I see how like how you moving now. Like you know, you, you got mature. You've been in the, the industry a little bit. Like, right, did you ever like pull aside like D thing or K flock and try to like you know give them some guidance? I know them niggas both personally. They both my young niggas. It's just timing and situations change things. Like where K Flock and them is from, they wasn't always YGK. They was YG. D thing is from the heart. He's from one of the hearts. He's from RPT. Everything born in RPT's gunning. Everybody knows that. It's not you could you could remix it. You could season it. You could put it, one or two other type of niggas in there. But that shit is YG. So D thing is. A YG baby and KK is not a YG baby, but it's hood it used to be YG and circumstances and situations change that. So if you look at the live, I was I taught K Flock how to make money off his music and he went to the moon. Y'all watched it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting here telling you about a secret. You could look it up yourself and you'll see that I taught that man how to capitalize off of what he was doing. Because my whole thing is this. I'm not the best role model for a kid that's a gang member coming up from the Bronx or Harlem or New York City or anywhere for that matter because I'm the epitome of that. So I, when I do speak to them, I don't tell them, yo, don't do this, don't do that. I give them real good reasons why they shouldn't do it like that. Like, yo, keep it in your music, but don't keep it, like, stop it. Don't, don't be shooting in the streets and rapping about it. You gotta pick Are they really related? Them. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. I just got one one question for Po, man. Um, I like I so. said once again, me and Batty, me and Batty, we had this conversation when the whole um newspaper article dropped. <laughs> and he had his questions yeah. about the whole fraternity test. I said I don't see no man Roman line about who their pops is. This and the third. Do you want to touch yeah. on that? You don't. You don't have to. But if you want to touch on that as far as the whole fraternity test, people trying to, you know, they even know what to take from that. Yo, bro, listen. I'm gonna put it like this. A lot of information that I still didn't reveal and a lot of stuff that I still didn't show is for a reason. And when I do reveal it and when I do show it, just know that this is what he wanted. How things go is his plan. Mm -hmm. How he wants it, when he wants certain information to come out, it's all strategic with, with him, you know? So when people, say oh you don't got no pictures with him or oh where's the dna test it's like yo, i never heard no shit like that like when niggas say yo this is nigga's son or this nigga, it's like yo with me it's like yo we need hardcore evidence a whole bunch of strangers want me to post a dna test a personal situation with me and my father y'all want me to satisfy y'all that much and go like i'm a bitch like like we going to to Jerry Springer, nigga. Like, we going to fucking Maury, and I'm, hey, look at me. I'm Alpo, son. Bro, I'm 30, bro. <laughs> Niggas know what's up, bro. Like, I'm not riding for no nigga, for no clout, for no money, for no nothing. Like, I'm not standing up for nobody under no circumstances for no reason. That's it. Niggas know that's my pops. It ain't nothing else. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, hey, put my mother on the phone. Hey, mom. Really? Like, I got show, show them a baby picture of, of me when I was with my father. No, y'all gotta pay for that. I got you another gotta question about that. your situation with Fade Back. Did, did, did he respond? He did what? an interview with him, so talking about yo, bro. It. Listen, this how this went, right? I held on to that video. I had that video for a little while, not really, really long, but like it's a few months old. I hit Fabian, I told Fabian this. Cause he got his father calling me with my father and my father and his father is cool. So this is what keeps stopping it from getting physical in the first place. This is why it's been going on for so long and it still hasn't been a physical altercation because every time it's about to go there, we get the big bro call and I'm from the old school. If I get the big bro call from two respected niggas that I respect for my reasons, Ferris and my pops, you know what? Yo, listen. I I ain't gonna post the video. So what do y'all gotta do to squash the situation? I, it's I, I thought it was dead, 
right? Because we came to an agreement where, like I said, when his father called me and shit, he told me, yo, make the video disappear. Because the video surfaced before, then it was going viral. And I got woken up out of my sleep by my pops because Ferris wanted to choke me. Yo, listen, I'm going to make him delete all his interviews. You take down whatever you got about him. Listen, me and your pops, we got a real good bond. We not trying to go there with each other because y'all niggas want to be knuckleheads. Respect. I took the video down. So Farris is cool with your pops? Yes. You know from home. Yes. That's why Fabian could sit in a chair comfortable to talk like that because he know once it get there, he's going to get saved. <laughs> he knows this. As long as he didn't inflict any type of harm on me physically, he know it could get dead. So all you basically want to do is shoot the five. Bro, I'm a punch in his mouth because I told his pops I was going to leave him alone. And his pops told me his, all his shit was going to come down. I waited three months. He just still ain't come down. You so still all over the in. internet. Yeah, you still, you still on the internet assassinating my character, but you want me to take down a video that's assassinating yours. Nah, I don't work like that. So I gave that nigga three months to get highlight, whatever you got to highlight, flip and this and that, wherever he was on the platform disrespecting me, make your shit disappear too. And he didn't. So, you know, well, and decided to do an interview about me again. After the video came out. After the video came out, he does an interview talking about, oh yeah, I had my pregnant baby mother. Bro, listen. Yeah, that's how I found out about listen, it. Listen, bro. Listen, listen to this. Logic. This is grown men I'm talking to. That's why I'm glad I'm dealing with grown men and not little ignorant kids right now. Because see how we're having a regular conversation and whether we agree yeah. with each other or not, it's still yeah. not an issue. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. So a grown-ass man, right? You on the internet, you sitting on the couch with made men on Flip the Script talking about me, right? You on Mel TV talking about me. I'm a punk, I'm pussy, I'm broke, I don't got this, I don't got that, I'm homeless, everything about me is a lie. And all of this then started from the BBOD thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, <laughs> you saying all of this about me, and then come and do an interview about me and say, oh, I don't even know him. I was only around him for like three months. Mm. This is what he said. Oh, I know Poe. That's not his father. He's a bum. He sleeps on the couch. He, his jewelry's fake. His money is fake. His clothes is fake. He's pussy. He's not no big gun. He's not no big homie. He got kicked out the way. All the shit he's saying in all his interviews about me for years. Right? Paparazzi pulling fade back and see how many times. That shit even made the Breakfast Club one time, bro. How long this nigga been trying to assassinate my character, hating on me, and I never did nothing. That was the first time I actually struck back at Fabian on some, and I showed from I the say soul. Loud, I mean, man. That video, he was scared for his life. I'm bro, he's, he's he pussy. Was, like, he, bro, he <laughs> really pussy in real life. Like, and I know he pussy. I know you pussy because if I'm 13 and my man is 15 and my mother's fucking 28 and you're fucking my mother, I'm, it's not happening, bro. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. This nigga been good in the streets since he was young or for who his mother was fucking with. Like, I don't even think Ferris really his father. He talking about, I don't look like Alpo. Do he look like Ferris? Hey, hey this yo. This nigga look like Bob Simpson and this nigga look like the Cookie Monster. I want to ask you something that somebody in the comments posted. They said, um, ask you about your situation with Five Guard. Five Guard is another nigga. I knew this nigga since I was little. This is what I'm telling you. These niggas be niggas that I knew, that I thought I was cool with until this internet shit came out. Five, five guard name is Jovan Giacana. He used to be signed to my uncle, Old Smash, at Smash Out Entertainment in Johnson Projects in Harlem. That's where I'm originally from, 113th in Lexington. If anybody know about Mike Moe, Old Smash, Bloody Ty, Rest in Peace, Fat Cat, Big A, all the Johnson niggas, these is, this, is, this is my older niggas from Harlem that taught me what I know. And rap was something I was trying to do when I was a kid. But this is like the little Bow Wow era where if you're that young, you can't be rapping about guns and violence. And Puffing them niggas wasn't signing you for that. 
You wasn't getting Jermaine Dupree. It ain't like now where they sign you because they know you're going to go to jail and they're going to keep everything. Back then, it was like they were trying to avoid that shit. So long story short, short story short, he was signed to my uncle. I used to spit for them niggas all the time because I used to be trying to be smash out. You know, I was a young nigga. I see my uncle, the niggas shooting videos. Johnson Day is lit out here. Fucking Black Rob out here. G Death is out here. This shit is crazy, you know? I'm trying to be down as a kid, trying to be. And they're like, yo, you got to wait till you old enough, you can't be cursing. All right, cool. Later on down the line, I'm running around with Cardi now. Now he's one of those blood niggas who feel like because he's blood, she supposed to take a picture with him. So he keep popping up everywhere, trying to take pictures with her. Eventually, one day, we like, fucking take a picture with the nigga. But now he look weird to me. He look different. He don't look like Joe Von Giacana. He got funny gothic shit in his ears and chains on it, like real chains on his neck. He's looking like he a vampire, spike collars and shit. So I'm like, is, is this Giacomo? So I, I gave the nigga the cold shoulder. I gave him the cold shoulder, bro, because I'm like, you weird. Nigga, you looking like Marilyn Manson. You used to be like a big homie. What happened to you? Cool. Fast forward the tape now, me and Star Grim start doing this internet shit. And boy, did the bloods jump on that. And, and, and the I Hate Poll Committee was was started right there. Soon as Star said, fuck him, he's this, he's this. That's been everybody's story since she said it. That's all you want to hear. Good things or anything Star Brim said. Y'all let a bitch dictate. They all follow, they all follow suit. Y'all let a bitch dictate street now business. a lot of people online shady yourself. a lot of people online be ashamed can't be switching, up on, switching up on star brim now a lot of people online. look now but look now the niggas that was riding that i hate poke committee realized me and star ain't really have no beef what was the situation now, now they all want to be cool with me now huh because yeah. it, it was a situation with star brim because of the situation with cardi no why she why did she was, start the i hate poke campaign listen, it was, it was over a bum ass nigga that stole my chain from the Bronx that I grew up with too. A nigga from the land that came home and I rolled out the red carpet like I was supposed to because this was my big bro like that. You heard? Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. Trooper here. Big, big B, 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 BMW here. Pulled up to the land. Bags. Gucci this, this. Here, big bro. You heard? Yeah. Had him with me, running around, Cardi video shoots, we're offset, all that. Nigga, I had this nigga in the loop. Next thing you know, he, he on star brim timing. So you know me, I, here, yo sis, yo bro, ah, 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 one, two, do the thing. Boom, next thing you know, boy coming to me, asking me to wear certain shit because he want to go see her. But I'm t like, in my head, I'm like, I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm like, yo, here, bro, you just came home. Nigga, you can have anything, anything you want. Yeah, nigga. You just came home. Boom. He goes. So now she questioned him like, oh, Poe just had that on at my bar the other day. Now you got it on. Which I think is this grown ass man sharing clothes. So oh, he, she, he, uh, okay, yeah, nice. he, he hit her with the, oh, nah, that's yeah. my shit. He be wearing my shit. But hmm. now look, here goes a real nigga who said, I'm wearing his clothes, but then turned around and said, my clothes is fake. So that means your clothes is fake, right? Yeah. Here's a real nigga who said he robbed me for a fake chain when he really snuck that for me and then wrote on the CC show that he got 21,000 for my Cuban. So you you could sell fake jewelry? Mm. But this is a nigga she was already knee deep in with. She's fucking with this nigga, so she sided with him. This is where that come from. That's why she was on my old block talking about come outside, because she was with them. You did? You get it now? Yeah, I get it. And now they, now they, they, now, they, now they, they, now. Now they all fucked up because you know whatever happened, you know. But they still cool with you. I'm still cool with the niggas who kept it a hundred with me from over there. I swear to God, I swear yeah. to God, I still go over there right now. I just didn't like that nigga. This is I'm from here. You let this bitch from Brooklyn come try to get in between me and you, nigga. Like, I don't want to put you in a loop of shooting. You're supposed to laugh that off. Listen, bitch, I just came on me and. If anything I asked my little man for, he gonna give it to me. And put the dick in her mouth. And that'd have been that, nigga. Hmm. Nah, he wearing my shit. This is where it come from. So now she looked at me like I'm the fraud because I done, I done promoted this nigga like he's above me. And now look how he talking about me to the girl. 
Shit. I put him on a pedestal, nigga. As soon as he walked out the doors. Oh, he home. Is, 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 I'm going to yeah. ask you this. Let me ask you, is he popped right now? I don't think he's broke. He locked up. I, I don't think he's broke. I just think that it was a situation where he didn't want to look like the liar. Mm. So he had to keep the clothes and the jewelry. Or if he'd have gave it back to me, then she would have knew he was lying. Once mm. you go, yo, this my chain. Poe just be wearing my shit. Ain't no giving it back now. Mm. You ain't got to give it to me. And I couldn't him. find them. Yeah, I couldn't find them for months. But Paul, let me ask you real quick before you let, before you get up out of here. So I see the BSM chain. So that's just you and Frenchie messing around, or are you really going to the A linking with Waka, who the kid and all of them? Like, what's the BSM I, situation? I, I link, I link with Waka, Wu, South, everybody at Frenchie grandmother crib. All right. At that mother house, on Millie. Like I'm really family, family. You go. Like, this shit bigger than some record label shit. Like this is. Two families that have been connected from our ancestors and, you know, energy brought us together in a sense like, yo, let's do music together now. I've been Brick Squad for 10 years without a chain. Yo, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What can we expect from your upcoming music, bro? What can we expect? You're going to get that. You're going to get that. Get, you, you're going to get that get rich and die trying type feel, bro, because I'm already back against the wall. Like... If I don't score right now, it's like over. The game is over. If I don't score right now, it's like I was playing with this rap shit, bro. I never was no rapper. You never see me sit up in an interview and say, yeah, I'll out rap niggas. Like, I never came in this game on some rap shit, nigga. I came in this game to hold certain people down in the rap game, and I knew how to rap too. Like, I knew how to rap too. So once in the blue, I throw a 16 on something, and Bro, nigga, I made one hook and it changed my life, nigga. That's what made me a rapper. It wasn't, I wasn't on no rap shit. You ain't never seen me on Mad Cyphers rapping. Yeah, you see nah, me I mean, rapping. Rapping. Was you yeah. on rapper time when you was with Piff Unit? No, nigga. Right. Hell no, you know that. Come <laughs> on. You no, know. I was saying, like, I seen, I remember you had the video. Like when you was when you start, like after like with Cardi, you was going to, and then, then you like did the thing with Envy Kane and and all that and other after shit. That, I was, and after that, I was discouraged because yeah, you, you ain't do I, nothing. I, I, I hear nothing from you. Yeah, I use rap as a way to give back to the young gang members that's following my footsteps. Right. Fuck up that and what made you get back them, into it with the BSM? What it was Frenchy. It was Frenchy. Like me and Frenchy. Like I said, we've been brothers. Me and Joe. We've been brothers. Like we've been brothers. And it was like me and Frenchy. I was trying to get in touch with Frenchy for like 10 years right on some get in touch with them type shit like i want to really be brick squad like you know niggas that throw the chain on you and say yo yeah you brick squad my nigga but i'm talking about like i really wanted to be a part of that you know so i was on his heels like yo son some niggas yo i'm with it what up? and niggas was on some yo roster's full we get back to you for years because i used to always say that like yo Nobody don't really know how to deal with me. I'd rather sign with Waka or Gucci or Deb, like somebody that could familiarize with where I come from and understand me. Cause she has some of the hardest artists in the world to deal with. So you so get some of the 808 and Southside beats? What? Did you Yo, do a I'm a saying, I'm a saying, I'm a saying y'all exclusive. We got Music it's Monday just, tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we got I'm, Music I'm, Monday I'm tomorrow. Do we get a Papa Rossi Pro exclusive? Yeah, I got some shit with me, Frenchie. Shout out to Kitty Gata. You heard, bro? I got some shit. 808 Mall. Come on. It's crazy. Yeah, BS, BSM. That song, BSM, that I got with King Buck. Shout out King Buck. That Southside producer, he just signed. Like, slow burn. Shout out to him. And then you got Shot Caller. That's out right now. For me, my mm -hmm. man Stro did the beat. And my man Stupid mixed this shit. You heard? So, it's like I got all that shit in the cut, but like I said, bro, I'm but can I'm you release gonna... anything? Can you give us something tomorrow on Music Monday? Yes, man? I will mm -hmm. give y'all that exclusive joint with me and Frenchie on the 808 Mafia joint. I got you. Y'all gonna be like Y'all gonna fucked... be like, oh man. It's fucked up that shit happened with you, Coca Jigger, and because that, that song you and him and Sprell Pay got, that's probably my was... favorite joint from you. I ain't gonna lie. That shit Look, was fire. So y'all probably need to make some music. Y'all probably would have dropped more fire. You feel what I'm saying? 
let me tell you something about that. That made me, I'm going to be real with you, bro. That made me discouraged on doing music anymore because it was almost like Pac when he got shot in quad. It's like, I'm coming over here to show you love and help you. You a nigga on the come up that I met through another nigga, Free Scroll Pay, and I'm still running with your squad off the strength of him and still trying to get y'all niggas a deal because I know I can. Because however many niggas I get signed, that's how good my name is in the building. So when my time finally comes, I could get a 30 pack because niggas know what I'm capable of. I could get a 30 million joint label deal, puffy 50 type shit because I could come in there with a resume like, look what I do. Y'all know what I do. This is what I do. This is what I've been doing. Fuck the music. Th this shit right here, name a rapper from my area that didn't come up. This is me. I am the stepping stone to Bronx drill. I am the stepping stone to all of this drill. That can make a lot of sense. Bro, think about it. Y'all never heard of K-Flocker till I was arguing with him. Y'all never heard of B-Love till I was arguing with him. Only nigga who had a name was Booba. Only nigga y'all seen active was Booba. And that's because he's affiliated with the other niggas I don't fuck with. Average. But think about it, bro. Name some niggas from New York, right? That's from I mean, my you area. Fucking with out of the Bronx niggas, you was fucking with, you was more in tune with the Brooklyn drill niggas than the other Bronx niggas before. I was, I was, I was the first nigga to do a song with Bambino. I was the first nigga to do a song with Bambino. I was the first nigga to do a song with a nigga from the show side, the woo side, the middle, whoever. I got songs, nigga. I've been doing. Might be you. I'm gonna be real. Shit. Now I'm thinking about it though. Like how Tutu is the the godfather yes. of, of Brooklyn drill. You might be the godfather of Bronx drill. Bro, I, I, I was on. You gotta remember, I went to Chicago as soon as I got out yeah, of prison. You was. I go see the line. Yeah, you. As you, soon as I got out of prison, I you, went you to be. Chicago. I, I mean, I'm listening. There's some people that in the comments that make, dislike you, some like you, but I'm gonna give credit. I'm being real. Like as far as the Bronx is concerned, I think you might be in the first. No, no. Bro, niggas, niggas ain't niggas ain't want to okay. hear that drill shit when I was doing it. Niggas ain't want to hear that drill shit when I was doing it. Niggas was running from them records. Like, oh, you just said that? Oh my God! You had to be from Brooklyn to say some wild shit and get away with it. They let like, me and is from the Bronx too, though. Yes, but he migrated to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. He he was one of our little men, and he went over there. And he went on that side, which is not an opposition side to me. It's just another different, you know, lifestyle. And it might be between you and him, because he is from the Bronx too, bro. Yes, I remember when he, he was dissing. Um, how I could I could send you I could, at the time with them when them records bro, going. I could there. send you records from 2012, 2011, dissing the bridge and Cortland and all that, bro. Like I said, Young Paparazzi Poe first video in black and white is a high bridge Cortland K song. My first record ever. All my my, my old career with Piff Unit was all drill music. You might be. That's why I said you might be the. I got songs with Fat Trail. I had songs with Dirt. I had songs with all these niggas. Type these niggas' names in and type my name in. I, I was niggas, the first nigga with all them niggas. Yeah, I'm not going lie. When Dirt came to the Bronx, where he came to Ma Haven, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it, bro. Chief Keith, Tato, them niggas, when they come to New York, where they go? It was they fucking come, with where we at? They come with us. When, when Duck and, and Billionaire and Rest in Peace Duck and, and King Yellow them niggas come from Chicago, who they come with? Us. Yeah, they was fucking with you. I can say that a lot. Like, that, that's a fact, though, bro. I, I'm going to give bro, you that. The only nigga who I could say, bro, no matter what that I could say was in tune with Chicago like me was on point like OP. He's the only nigga. Yeah, him too, yeah. OP was the only nigga. He was the bridge. He was fucking side. with Dirk and him too. Listen, he was fucking with her, and I was fucking with Dirk. And we knew each other off the strip for that. He was going to Chicago. I was going to Chicago. But we real niggas. We wasn't posting it. We wasn't I'm acting like it was Bronx big. niggas. I'm going to say you the first, bro. Me. It's me. I was drilling for 10 years, 20, 12 years. I've been drill rapping. Since record time, nigga, I was in jail spitting that hard shit. The niggas like, 
just because, you know, you nigga on a gate, niggas is bored. You know how that shit go, bro. Like, niggas just telling me, like, nobody not going to want to hear that, bro. They saying it, too, in the comments. They giving you shit. They saying Pope made Bronx drill. You, you, you might be. Bro, Pope, New, listen, New York drill is not coined or phrased or nothing by me because I wasn't the most successful nigga to do it. I was just the first nigga to do it. I wasn't I the most the successful. I, I, I say two two. I give still give two two G's. Two two G's is younger than me. You gotta think about the. What, you can't show me a two two G song from 2012, 2013. We're talking about two two G's was the first one nah, in New York. York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This what I'm saying. He's the nigga who blew up off of it. He, he, but he's the first one, the, the rap on, like Axel said that, like. That's he, not true. That's not true. I feel like you have to ask the first one. Type, like in, type in Paparazzi Poe and Tommy G's. We got two songs together, both off Axel beats. Before two twos. Yes. <laughs> bro, two two is younger than us, bro. Think about it. Two two is younger than us. I just, bro, 50 guns. Oh my God, bro. I could go from Knocked Off to Savage. To all these records that I was doing before these niggas was even rapping, I could send you the links myself. Hit me on a gram, I'll send it to you. I wasn't the first nigga famous from it though. You understand what I'm saying? Whoever got the crown, I salute no, you. No, I would say that not like 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 yeah. like Pop Smoke took it to a whole nother level. Pop Smoke made is the most successful drill rapper from New York, period. He's the most, I think he's the most successful drill rapper, period. No. He's not the most successful drill rapper period in the world because it's niggas from Chicago that's way bigger than him. Oh, Dirk, that's the, about the it. numbers. Like Possible ain't here to see his numbers. The Dirk, Dirk album ain't outsell. Possible sold more albums than Dirk. Yeah, Dirk ain't outsell. He sold more albums than Dirk. But think about it, how many years Dirk been selling records, bro. He, I mean, he got longevity. He started really selling records though. For real, for real. He got longevity. He got dropped from Jeff. He got dropped from Jeff Jam. From Jeff Jam from Dots for not selling records. Remember, they mentioned. Mm. Yeah, I, I, so and like I said, Pop Smoke took it. Pop Smoke opened the door for all of them. Listen, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. No, he didn't. Six Nine did. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's a fact. That's no, he didn't. Six, six Nine is the nigga that's who took fact. my style. That's a fact. Nick, six Nine is the nigga that took my style, and they liked it better because he looked like a bitch doing it. Like he was like the feet, the male version of Cardi B. Like <laughs> hey, that nigga, yo, bro, word two, bro. Oh man, bro. Yo, let's oh, not get man, bro. I don't want to stray from the conversations, but so yo, Pop, we appreciate you coming on the show, Pop Rock before you answer every question. Uh, I yeah, have. I appreciate I appreciate y'all too, man. Yo, listen, shout outs to everybody, man. My haters, my lovers, my supporters, my non-supporters. Keep keep all my trolls, keep keep banging in the comments do your thing let these ladies know that i got these interactions and and, and people who's actually taking out the time to fucking write me man you know all the niggas that's out there supporting that fuck shit and and want to believe the lies over the truth you know that's cool too good bad it's all promotion for me i'm selling records i'm i'm heavily fed i got a nice everything my life is good you know rest in peace my pops niggas can suck dick how they feel i don't care i'm always going to say rest in peace in my big dog um, I appreciate y'all with the numbers TV. You know what I'm saying? Even letting me we come up, pull up again, holler, man. And we got hey, yo, yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna actually Marvel do it, Monday, interview. man. Yeah, we're gonna do actually do an interview, like you know, yeah, this is just some real, this is the yeah, this is this, this was some real quick, uh, but I'm yes, I will come up Monday with the exclusive. Yeah, I'm gonna come up with the exclusive Monday. That's tomorrow, music Monday, 8 30. I'm here, I'm here. I'm gonna follow you on the gram and hopefully we put an interview, a real interview together. Listen, listen, man. I'm gonna tap right in with you, man. As soon as right. I get off here, Perfect. send me, send me whatever. Follow me. I'm gonna follow you back tomorrow. I'm on deck with that record. Even if I come up for five minutes, real quick, just to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's it. After we debut the record, definitely we we'll give you some light. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Come on, bro. Good luck, bro. Appreciate you like, bro. Appreciate nah, you. Nah, you already know, man. Everybody, man. Shout out to what's the numbers TV, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I respect and I love a lot of these niggas that you're doing stories on. This is why I'm even here. Because, like, I felt like, yo, like, you was the first nigga to be like, put some fucking respect on my man Jude the name, you heard? Like, niggas really, really, really acting Ooh. like they on Jude Hef, bro. Yeah. Niggas is acting like my man wasn't that shit, bro. You understand, bro? That's the, that's the nigga, bro. And, and you was the first nigga to really touch and, 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 and even say, like, yo, like, 
Did you have anything, bro? And it's like, niggas is, you hear me every song, Juke the Gang, Juke the Gang, Juke the Gang. Like, I'm, I'm one of the niggas that's really trying to keep my man name alive, bro. And, you know, that's why I appreciate y'all, bro. Because when I seen that Charlie Rock, Drew Half, I'm like, Too Fly Tay, I'm like, yo, like, finally, you know, not saying that I wanted them niggas in the spotlight in a negative way or anything yeah. that comes from it. But I do feel like, bro, these is the legends. These is the leaders of the new school. Y'all might not like me, but I am one of the leaders of the new school, bro. That's just that. You, you could be mad, you could hate, but yo, bro, like, it's me, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. Feel me, bro? Like, so when you when you touch on, not just because they my friends, because there's even other niggas like G-Baby, rest in peace, G-Baby, that I love, that was from Brooklyn, that I know you telling the truth about these stories, I knew him. Oh, you know, it's certain it's stories like classic, like that was a nigga I was in jail with. That was mm. the nigga that Max sent to cut me, nigga, and that nigga shook my hand and switched his hood. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's, it's other shit that I could say because, you know, certain people's not here no more. And it's not no real violent crime, so I can speak on it. We're gonna speak on it next time, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate All right, you, man. You, man. We I really appreciate you tapping in, man. Respect on my dog's name, man. For real. Niggas All gonna right. respect. Niggas gonna respect it regardless. There you go. You out of here.